Hi. Welcome to Feminist Foley News. I'm your host, Spencer Foley, alongside your co-host, Ronnie Serrano. So tell me, Ronnie, what you got there? I got a book. It's called Slaughterhouse-Five by Kurt Vonnegut. Uh, it's about Billy Pilgrim and him being unstuck in time and reliving all of his memories. And I think we could have a good discussion about this. I think I've read that book. In fact, we have people on the scene to speak of their opinions toward it. To you, Juan. Right now, live at Eastside, I'm here with Antoinette Mensuk, who speaks it's against Mansuk. Vonnegut's book. What exactly are you protesting against? Well, you see, Mr. Castaneda, the women in Vonnegut's book are portrayed in an overly sexual manner. How so? They are depicted only for their bodies and not for who they really are. Are you referring to characters like Montana and Maggie, who are only used for reproduction? Yes, exactly my point. Montana is abducted by Tralfamadorians and is taken to planet Tralfamador only to copulate with Billy. She has no other role in this book at all, other than to raise the kids she and Billy had. Montana, uh, Maggie is specifically described as dull, but a sensational invitation to make babies with. He immediately dismisses the importance of Maggie in any other way except for sex. I can see your point. Also, in one of Vonnegut's scenes in his book, Billy Pilgrim stumbles upon a shower full of German girls, and the author describes the girls as beautiful only when they're naked. He seems to, to suggest that personality does not contribute to a woman's beauty. Are you talking about Stellar House 5? That book is so degrading to women. It hates, it hates on them, it hates on their body, it hates on their ideas, I hate this. Juan? Juan? Well, we seem to have lost connection, but there you have it. Juan and Antoinette on the scene with their opinions on Slaughterhouse Five. I don't know who that other person was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, if I recall though, from this book, the main character, Billy Pilgrim, his wife, Valencia, feels as if she needs to change because she's too overweight, but actually no woman needs to change for a man. Bouncing on what you just said, this is very true. Uh, Mary is actually one of my favorite characters. She states how war is taking away people's children, people's lives, and just people in general. And she also states that men, in fact, love war and they love conflict such as this. And that peace is the only real, con is the only real you know, solution. But she, d she says that men cannot see that, cannot see that truth. So. Well, there you have it. Our opinions on Slaughterhouse Five. See you next week.